Touching story we first told you about last night, we're hearing from a Camus man that will receive a prestigious award given to heroes from across North America. He saved a child trapped inside a sinking truck. New specialist Shelby Lofton met up with this award-winning Utahn for an interview you'll only see on KSL. Shelby? A little over one year ago, Joe Donnell saved the life of a nine-year-old boy. Today, he's being honored for that heroic act with a national award. But the grandparents were really appreciative. They were crying and hugging us. Joe Donnell's shirt says it all. He's not your average Joe. I was a park ranger for 25 years and an emergency responder. He's also a family man who spent August 22nd of 2022 at Smith and Morehouse Reservoir. He got on the water to kayak and ended up responding to cries for help. I saw a truck that was facing into the lake and it just started to drift slowly. Two children made it out of the truck when it first started to sink, but the family frantically told Donnell. There's still a nine-year-old boy. He's in the back seat. He dove multiple times, yanking on doors, trying to bust open windows. Every time I came up, Kathy was right in front of me, yelling at me to get back down, get back down. After several minutes of panic. But I found Paxson floating against the roof, uh, against the windshield. When the Donnell family watched nine-year-old Paxton K. Knight get taken to the hospital, they weren't sure he would make it. He was on life support and, you know, I, we just kept praying. At the hospital, the hero was reunited with the survivor. He remembered me, so I had an Olympic Ranger badge in a really nice display case, so I gave him that and that would be forever his. One year later, it's Donnell's turn oh, yeah. to get his gift. It's the highest civilian award you can get. Danelle will receive the Carnegie Medal. It's given to a select group of people from Canada and the U.S. who risked their lives or died trying to save someone else. And to see my name in there was just incredible. The humble hero says he'll give away part of the award. It comes with a, a scholarship um, that we're going to share with the Paxton family. They're bonded for life. We had Thanksgiving dinner with them. Uh, we, sent, we exchanged Christmas presents. Knight's dad says he's back to normal, playing tackle football as if nothing ever happened. Donnell says he's grateful yeah, for this happy ending. Nice. The highlight of my life for sure. Donnell says they're planning an in-person celebration for him in Utah. We'll post any details about that upcoming event on our website, ksltv.com. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News. Oh, what a fantastic outcome. Shelby, thank you.